and we're rolling, sir. Speed. Yes. I'd like to thank all of you for coming here here this evening. I'm going to give you your um, overview instructions that you can be examining before we begin. Dr. Hall, thank you. And uh, Mr. Claycom. I'm sorry the rest of our colleagues are not able to be here this evening. Unfortunately, uh, many were detained, some are ill this time of year, and so we will uh, continue uh, again when the rest of them can, can be here. We'll just leave these here. Now, what I was going to begin explaining just briefly before we get into something too technical uh, was what, what the, the super is, is based upon. This diagram is very basic, and I was just going to show you a little bit of artwork on it since the, the drafting departments and uh, uh, engineering division has okayed this for, for release to those that have clearance. You're all familiar with the basic formula of D2 plus D2 plus N will, will result in a 15 million electron volt uh, surge, which will effectively, when projected from the primary here, uh, ignite the, the secondary, which is what people are popularly calling a hydrogen bomb, uh, properly a thermonuclear reaction, which, uh, as you recall, here we have, using this new SWAN device, we have the plutonium pit, which is hollow core developed. Uh, it's a descendant of the cone-supported and levitated method. Uh, our HE charges detonate in the usual way, crushing the core using a tamper which is a little smaller than has been uh, used in the past. And what actually happens is our X-rays produced from this fission reaction will compress, crush, and ultimately ignite the secondary system. Secondary system, you remember from our earlier lectures, uh, is a uranium-235 casing with plutonium hollow core rod through the center, which will become crushed. It will heat to the uh, temperature necessary, therefore giving us our, our deuteride uh, when combined with, with, uh, with lithium. Six will, will give us the tritium, which we are, are uh, wanting to burn. And when it does burn, it will give you about a 15 times yield uh, above your, your primary. So we were anticipating about 10 megatons of energy to be released through this process. And what we've decided to do in, in the peanut is to fill it with foam all in this area which will actually, as we've discovered, will heat and form a plasma, which will only add to the ignition of the primary. So that, that's basically it. And uh, if no one has any questions, then I, I think we'll, we'll just uh, move on with our cigars and, uh, and the rest of our, our social this evening.